Good morning. It's good to see you today. Hope you're having a good day. Appreciate you joining us. Come on with us to the book of Proverbs. We're going to be thinking about um, keeping our mouths closed. We're going to be looking at a passage in Proverbs chapter 13, if you want to follow along with us in your Bible. But up on the screen, I have the verse, Proverbs 13. Uh, let, let's just start in verse 1. A wise son heeds his father's instruction, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. A wise man, a man shall eat well by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the unfaithful feeds on violence. He who guards his mouth preserves his life, but he who opens wide his lips shall have destruction. And it's verse 3 that I especially wanted to consider. He who guards his mouth preserves his life. And, and to just think about to just think about that verse. My guess is if you if you're like me, sometimes I will you, you'll have a conversation with someone, doesn't matter who it is. You'll you'll have a conversation and after the conversation, you'll come away from it and you'll think to yourself, "Why did I say that? Why did I talk about that?" Why did I why did I do that? And what it amounts to is what this verse is talking about, that we we that we we don't guard our mouths like we need to sometimes. Sometimes we need to just be quiet. And it's it's easy to see the problem in other people, like the speck and the moat. It's easy to see other people's sin. Sometimes it's hard to see our own sin, if not all the time. So to think about the question. And to think about the the way I phrased it, um, the title of this morning's study, why won't he? Why won't he just be quiet? I want you to think about why people won't be quiet. And to get into it, sometimes people want to justify themselves. Think about a situation where someone says something against us, or they question us somehow, or they they just their approach. It. it we open up our mouth and we want to justify ourselves. Remember when, because Jesus ran into this, as, as the Lord taught, and as the Lord was, frankly, condemning people's actions and was trying to get them to, to examine themselves, well, rather than being honest about it, they wanted to justify themselves. It, it specifically says that. And what it is, is it's pride. When someone hurts our pride, someone hurts our ego, Rather than rather than keeping our mouths shut and simply and saying to ourselves, if not to the person, you're right. Rather than doing that, sometimes we would rather justify ourselves, and all of a sudden our mouth starts running. We need to guard our mouths, but that's that's one reason. The Lord ran into it. We run into it. We do it, and we're guilty of it. Sometimes we want to justify ourselves. And it's not right. Let God be the just and the justifier. That's one reason. That's one reason sometimes that we just will not be quiet like we need to. Another reason is sometimes we just run on. You remember at the Mount of Transfiguration when Peter, James, and John, there they were and they were asleep and they wake up and Peter says, it's good for us to be here. Let's build three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. One of the passages, it seems like it's, it says that he said that because he didn't know what else to say. Well, that's how it is with us sometimes, too. It's, and I understand with Peter, with, with that account, it also talks about him being afraid. But he just starts running on. And, and that's how it is with us sometimes as well. We just start running on. In the multitude of words, a lot of times you'll find sin. Um, there's a proverb about that as well. We need to guard our mouths. We should not try to justify ourselves, and we should not just run on. We need to, to recognize that idea. But also, sometimes people won't be quiet because they just want to sound impressive. Remember, this is how Jesus describes the Pharisees, that when they prayed, they thought they, they, thought they would be heard for their many words. Their prayers sounded very impressive. In that case, they were, I guess they thought they were trying to impress God and eh, says that they did all their works to be seen by men. They wanted other people to be impressed. But that's that's the same trap we fall into as well. Sometimes we want to sound impressive. And frankly, being quiet is usually not impressive. It should be, but it's not. But sometimes we won't we don't shut our mouths 
and we just keep going on wanting to sound impressive. And it's wrong. It's sinful. We need to be on the lookout for it, and we need to guard our own mouths. Along with these others, other ideas, you might also think about a lack of discretion. In the New Testament, it talks about those who wander from house to house, and it's the context of being busybodies, gossips, and it says they say things they ought not. And I think we, we all find ourselves doing that from time to time, and that's not condoning it. That's just admitting it, that we, we have trouble with this. It's a lack of discretion. It's gossip, right? We, we need to be more discreet. We need to guard our mouths. You might think about that idea. How many times, if, if, if we'll be honest with ourselves, how many times, and it might be a combination of all these points, how many times have we found ourselves running on and on and on, number two, and then suddenly we find ourselves in number four, and we say something that we had no business saying at all. Right? So it's a combination. So what we have to do is we have to do what the proverb says. We have to guard our mouth. And, and as we think about, as we think about what our mouth should be used for, you know, of, of all the passages that talk about it, on our mouth, you, you should find grace seasoned with salt, right? We might, th we, we think about grace seasoned with salt. We think about, we, we do want to provoke one another. The question is provoke one another to what? Hebrew says provoking one another unto love and good works. You might think about that. And, and you might think about the idea of, of hearing and speaking. And we need to, we need to, we need to be good listeners, we need to be good listeners when it comes to God's Word. We need to be good listeners when it comes to one another as well. Sometimes we just do all the talking, and we need to be listening to the Lord and to others. You might think about each one of these points as we think about the proverb, that we need to guard our mouths. Hope you have a good day. I appreciate you tuning in for this Bible study, however brief it is. Hope you have a good day, and I hope you tune in tomorrow for another brief look into God's Word. Thanks for being with us today.